Starting with Connect Edition Update 4 of WaterCAD and Water Gems, the controls user interface has been greatly improved, making it much easier for users to create and manage logical and simple controls. All controls are now displayed in a familiar tabular view. In previous versions, separate conditions and actions needed to be created first and then put together into a control. Also, duplicate conditions and actions could be created, leading to confusion, especially when working with large models with many controls. You no longer need to worry about this as the process is now greatly simplified and conditions and actions are created and removed automatically as you create and delete controls. Watch how quickly we can create a typical pump control. Click New Control, If Element, select the tank, if less than 176 meters, then element select the first pump, status on, click duplicate, same tank, greater than 178 meters, then the pump status is off. Now let's say I actually need to turn on two pumps at the same time. Changing to a composite action is now easy. Just right click on the control, choose edit then action, Click New, select the second pump, also On, and then for the second control, right click, Edit Then Action, New, select the second pump, then Value Off, OK, and now we have composite controls. Also notice the checkbox that appears by default on a newly created control. This means a new control is automatically added to the currently active control set, which is a concept that modelers can use to turn certain controls on or off in different scenarios. You now have clear visibility into which controls are in your control set, helping avoid confusion that could occur in older versions when forgetting to add a control to a control set after creating it. Locating controls for certain elements is also easier. For example, from the property grid for this pump, I can click on the Controls collection here, and it will filter to show any controls whose condition or action references that element. I can also click the box in the corner to further filter it to only show those controls that are active in this scenario's control set. Now let's say I want to see where this condition element is right here. I can right-click and choose Zoom to If Condition Element, and then you can see in the model. You can also use the search button at the top to find and highlight any text within the controls tabular grid. Or you can use the element filter button at the bottom to filter to a specific element. To make the controls tabular grid even easier to read, you can use the columns drop down to hide certain columns that you may not need to see. This can be especially helpful when you have a mix of simple and composite controls. For example, I don't need to see the control type, priority, or the element ID, and this makes it much easier for me to display the composite controls. If you have an old model with some blank or invalid controls, you can easily fix them up. Right-click where it says Missing, choose Edit If or Then, in this case If, and make the necessary correction. Even more functionality can be found at the top in the toolbar, including the ability to copy and paste controls within the table, the control wizard that has been available in past versions, and the ability to import and export controls between models. For more details on these, read the article in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.